The trials biking is all about navigating any obstacle, regardless of where it is, uh, without putting your feet down on a bicycle. Back in the 60s and 70s, there was um, motorbike trials riders for the younger kids. It was all about allowing the kids to be able to ride. So what they did was got them on what they called trials bikes. Im Moment äh, versucht er gerade zu balancieren und äh, konzentriert sich jetzt darauf. Das ist also ein wesentlicher Punkt beim Fahrradteil, sich darauf zu konzentrieren, wie man das nächste Hindernis bewältigen kann. Over years it's developed, so now you've got pure competition type trials uh, and street trials, which is mainly what I ride now. When you're riding in the streets, there's limitless possibility. You can hop up one thing, you're not limited to a certain section like they are in a competition trial. The bike is adapted for the sport, you know, so it's got a specific geometry. It weighs under 15 kilos, you know, so we have barely any seat. You can't sit down and pedal. It's all about standing and standing control and balance. The brakes are the most, easily the most important thing on there for me. And you can add speed, but on the trials bikes, you can also go slow and control can hop up onto a big wall overhanging a river, you know, that kind of thing. And it, it's, it's all about precision, but yeah, the bikes really do help. I ride around a city and I'm constantly looking at things, you know, whether I can jump this gap or I can hop up this handrail or where I can go. It's a different mindset completely to any other kind of riding a bike, I would say. I think the good thing about cities is that they're forever changing. You know, there are always new buildings being created, built, and it's, it's always a challenge to find something new to ride your bike on. I know that a lot of people do consider it dangerous, you know, and I think I would rather people appreciated it for what it was. You know, it's an art form in the end of the day. You know, it's, um, everybody has different ways of looking at different things, and my interpretation and my imagination comes out through my bike. I've always been interested in the buildings, the architecture. It's not just about finding the, the biggest wall you can hop up. If you can find a nice background, if you've got a nice building, that's probably just as important as the spot itself. Ça va faire 2-3 ans que je le connais depuis que j'ai commencé le, le street trial en regardant euh, grâce aux réseaux sociaux et tout ça. Il euh, fait partie des riders que je suis beaucoup parce que j'aime beaucoup son style. Il a un plus gros niveau que les autres, du coup il apporte pas mal de choses. Moi par exemple j'ai pas, pas un énorme niveau et du coup rouler avec des gens comme lui ça inspire et puis euh, ça, ça aide à progresser. Online is more now the way people meet each other. So you come to a different city, you can try and meet these people. For me, I like to meet new people all the time. So if I get the opportunity to ride with somebody new, whether it's in France or whether I'm in America, you know, any, any opportunity, that's the thing for me. It's because they're like-minded people. You know, they've got the, the same motivation.